The quality of marriage or the quality of a good relationship is determined by the quality of the people in it. Marriage is not bad as so many people say it is. It is who they marry that is bad and then they end up classifying marriage as a bad thing. Now, if you give those same people a good man or a good woman, the reports will be different. We'll be right back. Hey loves, welcome back. My name is Serena Iyetoyo and this is my YouTube channel. Now the first thing I'm going to say here of why marriages fail or the mistake that you're making at the beginning of a relationship which will lead to marriage is selfishness. The first point is selfishness. You're thinking about yourself, what you want, what you want to achieve, what you'll be gaining in that marriage, what you'll be gaining if you marry that person, what you'll be gaining when you are married to that person. You're thinking about yourself, yourself, yourself. Whether the person likes you or not, whether the person is the right person for you or not, whether the person is going to be good for you or not. You just want to do everything you can to make sure the relationship works. So selfishness can be a blind spot when entering a serious relationship so you gotta cut that off you gotta look into that okay when you're focused on you and you alone when it is all about you you end up making the wrong choice you end up picking the wrong person because you're not looking out for other things you're just focused you're being selfish you want to get married you just want to be in that relationship it has to be that person because you don't know if he's the right one for you or not. You end up picking the wrong person because oh, he is like this, he is like that, he is like this, he is like that. But have you sat down to ask yourself a question? Will this person make a perfect man for you? Will this person make a perfect woman for you? Okay? Now I know of someone, she's a Nollywood celebrity, okay? And she's a Portacot girl, she's a Portacot sister. She actually went into a relationship out of selfishness. She wasn't thinking and that relationship that marriage has hit the rock today because because she wasn't thinking because she was just being self-centered most of you will know her if i call her name so that relationship that marriage has hit the rock today because she chose the wrong person out of selfishness out of not thinking not planning not saying okay not calculating if that person will be the right will make a good husband for her or not and now that marriage is gone do you understand? So selfishness can make you make the wrong choice. And in the middle of the relationship, you want to opt out or the person wants to opt out because you now later find out in the middle of the relationship or in marriage that the person is not meeting up to your expectations and then you want to opt out. It's not empty and you don't opt out anyhow in marriage and you don't opt out anyhow, okay, when building something. <laughs> okay, the second point is the do. When is involved at the beginning of a relationship people's minds tend to shut down okay when you start sleeping with someone all you're going to be thinking about is how to sleep with the person again the moment you get together with this person all that's going to be in your mind is let's do it again let's do it let's do it i know someone that does that <laughs> let's do it again now you will see that you no longer discuss meaningful things all you're going to be thinking about is romance emotions you're no longer discussing the things that are very important in the relationship you no longer discuss what you want to see in the relationship you no longer talk about things that are relevant and that is where people make mistakes and people end up in bad relationships because the courtship period the relationship period the time that you just enter the relationship is the interview time is the time that you have opportunity to talk is not for intercourse okay intercourse interview <laughs> okay it is not a time for intercourse it's a time for interview it's a time where you get to talk it's the time where you get to air your mind it's the time where you're able to make decisions and stand by it that is the time because emotions are not involved serious feelings are not involved your whole spirit soul and body is not involved okay? now i'm gonna tell you something about intercourse you see, after my traditional marriage, like, after my traditional rights, so we are already married, bride price has been paid, do you understand? And someone called me from my husband's compound, so he's, he's already my husband, we've done court, we've done the bride price, the traditional, he's already my husband. And my marriage, which is my white wedding, is in two months, because my wedding was 
September and my white wedding was in November. Okay. And someone called me from my husband's place and told me that a girl visited my husband. Oh my God. And I was like, do you know if it's his cousin? Do you know if it's his niece? Do you know if it's his auntie? Or do you know if it's his father's brothers, uncles, sisters, friends? What? <laughs> you get my point. Do you know who she is? Do you know if she's even a cleaner? Maybe she's a cleaner that came to clean the house. Okay. All right. And I told her, she said, then I should come and see for myself. And I told her, I don't live in the same state with my husband. And if I enter transports from my place to that far place and I have an accident on my way to that far place what is going to become of my husband and the girl which you're talking about when they move on with their life I told her I just told her thank you for the information I'm very grateful but I think it's the cousin or is a sister someone that is already married is already married that's what I told her and that conversation died okay now because intercourse was not involved this is already my husband okay now because intercourse was not involved i'm using myself as an example so i don't tell you things that i've not practiced or things that are not real okay so because intercourse was not involved because attachment was not involved my mind was clear i was not thinking with emotion or too much feeling to attachment there was no too much attachment do you understand what i'm saying i was thinking from the right place of wisdom okay and after talking to her the only thing i did was that i went back to my god to my creator to the one that gave me the husband do you understand i just told god i said god this is the husband you gave to me and this is the call that this and this is the call that i received okay if this is what I'm going to see in this marriage, then let it not work. I don't want to use my, I don't want to make drastic decisions. Scatter it in your own way. Just in your own way, just put a confusion. Just let it not work. That was my only prayer. And I rested my case. I didn't call my husband to say, eh, so this is who you were. So you were a cheat. So you bring women to your house. So this and this and that. Because you know why? My mind was clear. I was moving with the right wisdom. Do you understand? And that is the wisdom of God. I was moving with the right wisdom. Because I don't even know why this girl shared this information with me. We are not very close. They only got my number when my husband introduced me as his wife. Do you understand? And this, she said, let me have your number. So we are not close. We are not friends. Why are you so interested in my business? So I don't know why she's telling me that. I don't know if she's interested in my husband. I don't know if she wants to cause problem for me. I don't know what is her intention. But whatever her intention was, I just went back and I placed it in the hand of the right person, which is God. Okay? Because my mind was not clouded with intercourse. Now, if intercourse was involved, I won't be thinking that way. I would have said, oh, so that person wants to come and enjoy what I'm enjoying. <laughs> I don't know if you get the point. Then I start making drastic decisions. I start doing things the wrong way. I, I might just call him and start talking and start doing things. Do you understand? And I was pointing for myself, which might not be true. What if I end up going there and the person has gone? Then I'm already accusing. Oh, I call my husband. I say, you're lying. Why? So you don't trust me. I don't know if you would get my point. When intercourse is involved, people make wrong decisions people minds are clouded people don't think straight you don't know how to table your matter you don't know how to do your things right okay so that's the second point the third point and the last point is that you're not picking from your spirits don't forget man is a spirit he has a soul and he lives in the body okay you're not thinking from your spirit you're not checking in with yourself whether you have inner peace somebody can tick all the boxes and not be the right person for you do you know that and the only way you can know this is if you tap into your spirit because he or she might not be god's plan for you i'm telling you you know i've said something like this on this channel before um how to pray for your future spouse or something i think that video i'm gonna put it somewhere here if i remember now when i wanted to get married when i left school and I had nine people, nine men, that wanted to get married to me, okay? 
I was not in a relationship with any of them. So these nine men have told me that they want to marry me. Okay, so what I did was that I wrote their name. Where's my book? Where's my notes? Sorry, let me get that. So what I did was that I wrote their names on the list. Okay, and then because I am a Christian, I pray with these names every night, <laughs> every day. Because I don't want to make mistakes. Okay, so I pray with these names. And you know what? In these nine names... My husband's name was not in this list. I don't know my husband. I don't know his name. I don't know where he's from. I don't know anything about him. His name was not on this list. And then I was praying with these names. And I had one person, very serious one. His name was number one. Okay? And whenever I'm praying, you see that name number one? It sticks good. And then when I'm praying, I'll be saying, oh God, you see this person must be the person. This person has to be the best because he, he worships you, because he serves you, because he serves in your house, because he does this, because he does that, because he is handsome, he is good, he is this, he is that, okay? He ticks all the boxes, this number one, eh? He ticks all the boxes, everything that I want. Do you understand? <laughs> but you know what? That was not God's plan. <laughs> oh my god this is so funny right now okay but that was not god's plan he wasn't god's plan okay because if i had ended up marrying that my own plan that ticked the boxes that i had in my head maybe i wouldn't have made a good wife to the person or maybe he wouldn't have turned out to be a good husband okay so you have to you have to check in with your spirits okay and then when god's plan came here i am <laughs> okay so that is how it is you have to check in with your spirit so man is a spirit he has a soul and he lives in the body and you are a spirit being and marriage is more spiritual than it is physical don't be carried away with what the world is doing. Don't be carried away with what the world is saying. Don't be carried away with the secular world, okay? You have done it so many ways, all this why. I urge you to do it the God way. I urge you to do it another way, okay? He said, it takes foolishness to continue doing something the same way without getting the result, isn't it? Yeah, so I urge you to do it the God way because marriage was made by God. The only person that understands this thing called relationship, the person that started relationship, the person that started marriage is God. He is the institutor. He is the originator. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this part two. And if you want us to do another part three, because I still have more, but I don't want the video to be too long. Okay. So just let me know in the comment section, if you want us to continue this as a series, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram handle on my Twitter. I'm very active there and hit the like button. This is very important. The like button just press the like button make sure you press the like button okay god bless you and stay very beautiful i will see you in the next video bye